hey there in this video i think what i'm going to do is um the curtains i used to have some green velvet curtains between the bedroom and the office i had those up before i decided to do that room separation divider thing anyway um i like to repurpose things i like my green velvet curtains forest green i guess that's what it is and I had gray curtains back here, so I decided, you know what? Let me go on Amazon, where I ordered them from, and see if they have some more. Because I do have three windows back here. But I don't want to make them full length. I just want to make them, you know, about the, a little lower than the actual window size. So, I decided, since I only had two panels, I decided to cut them in half. Because the material is enough for them to make two panels per window. Only two windows. Now the other window over there in the back, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I had to find something that was closer because, like I said, I couldn't find the curtains anymore. But I did find another green blackout curtain, which is not as velvety as this one, but it's all right. It's over there. I'm more concerned about the two that you can actually see, you know, from walking in or from all the way in the front. So, anyway, what I'm going to do here is uh, cut them in half, and then I'm going to go ahead and stitch them and put them on this window. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I think the one I uploaded the other day when I did the um, Clean With Me video, you might have already seen them. However, I'm going to go ahead because I don't like to waste anything. Like I said, I like those curtains, and I want to repurpose them. So... Enjoy. Here is where I took the curtains to the living room floor on my cutting board. I already cut it down in half and here it is where I hung it up. Now, this is the length I wanted it. I didn't want it floor length because I'm trying to make the best out of two panels. However, now I want to see what it looked like on the clip rings. and. Of course, I'm going to have to stitch up the edges. As you can see here, it's a nice smooth cut, but I still want to. You couldn't really tell. I mean, I could leave it like that, but I decided I'm going to put on the sewing machine and, you know, stitch it up and do it correctly in case when I wash them, because I don't want them to, you know, fray or unravel. So, yeah. All right, now, as you can see, I put it on my sewing machine. My pillowcase, giving you a taste. At the end of the day, I could care less what comes Now I'm stitching here, and then I'm going to go back and do what they call a surge, surging stitch. I'm not a seamstress, but um, there is a surging feature on this sewing machine which I'm going to use to make sure the corners, <coughs> excuse me, the edges are tight where they won't fray or come loose. My bobbin, if you know anything about sewing, bobbin is the uh, little round thing that fits in the little hole on the sewing machine. Now, it ran out of thread, so I did have luckily have some matching thread. And um, now I'm rewinding the bobbin because I don't have any extra ones. I literally actually went to Hobby Lobby last week, and while I was there, I picked some up, and somehow I get home, I don't have them. I must have left them in the cart when I picked up the other stuff and put it on the counter. I forgot all about it, so now I have to go back and get some spare ones. 
but yeah I'm just trying to wind this up so I can continue on sewing these curtains I'm so mad at myself because I especially went down there for that and of course true to form Hobby Lobby is walking distance from me that's how close it is and um, I don't like going in there because I know every time I go in there I get myself in trouble of course I go down to get my bobbins and I got myself in trouble anyway and came back without the bobbins go figure That material is some really pretty green velvet texture. I just had to use it some kind of way. So, yeah, I just like to repurpose stuff. I don't like to see anything go to waste. So if I could use them somewhere else, that's what I'll do. So that's why I decided to modify it and put it back here to match this nice sage green wall, which eventually I'm going to paint the ceiling as well. One day, you know, when I bought these curtains, and the reason I purchased them because I did the accent wall in my bedroom, the sage green, and I um, also bought some accent pillows that matches this, which is still on the bed. I also had my big DIY canvas art that was hanging on the wall, which I've since taken down and replaced with a round mirror because it felt overwhelming and I wanted to lighten the space up a little bit more. This is the third curtain, the one that does not match. I managed to get these from Amazon. You can see the material. They are blackout curtains, but they're not identical to the other ones. 
which is fine. Excuse my corner. This is my treadmill corner, a little area that I made back here. It's a little junky right now, which I'm going to clean that up, make that look a little bit better. I have some stuff here because I'm working on another project. And this is some storage bags for clothing and rugs and stuff that need to go out in the garage. And of course, the little mess up there. And of course, this little piece of furniture I have that I use to separate and make as much use out of this room as I can by making different areas, different sections. Anyway, back to the curtains. These are the little curtains up. And I don't know if you could tell the material. It's a little velvety. 